everybody, welcome back to, I would say welcome back to Misty and Me, but I actually named the channel My Dog Misty, so welcome back to My Dog Misty. So here's the deal. This girl stinks. Ooh. She's like, speak for yourself. She stinks and she is huge. So that creates a problem with me putting her in the bathtub because if she decides that she doesn't want to go over the side of the bathtub, one of us is gonna get hurt because she weighs about 65 pounds. This is the huge, strong dog. If she doesn't want to go in the tub, she's not going in the tub. And she gets extreme anxiety at the groomer. And it actually breaks my heart to see her because she trembles. She won't get out of the car. She reaches out for me like this. She's just stressed the entire... She even gets diarrhea really bad when I try to take her to the groomer. So I don't really have the heart for that. And the one groomer that she's kind of okay with can't take her until the middle of May. So that's a little too far off for the odor that she's emitting at this time. So what I've decided to try today, my dad has a walk-in shower at his apartment. So I'm gonna take Misty to his apartment and we're gonna see if we can give her a bath in the walk-in shower. So let's see how that goes. Misty, do you wanna go get a bath in daddy's shower? Yes. Okay, come on Misty, Sue. Yeah, mommy's in the shower, mommy's in the shower. Hey, come on baby. Yeah, good girl, good girl, mommy's in the shower. As long as mommy's in it, we should be fine, right? Hey girl. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Honey, you have got to stay in the shower. It's not working too good. <laughs> I hate I get her stomach. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Because as soon as I let go of her, yeah, there ain't no point coming out for her. Okay. A little bit of water on your back and tail. Mm. I just squirted myself. <laughs> oh, I need to get the front half of you, but that ain't gonna happen because you ain't in the shower. Half in, half out of the shower. That's the way Misty does. So we got Misty out here sun drying on the patio. Wasn't a huge fan of her bath. Didn't go terribly well. <laughs> hey, girl. A minute. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, back from Misty's little grooming fiasco in the shower. It, it went pretty good. It was okay. At least she's clean and she doesn't stink anymore. Now I'm going to start grooming. What I did is I stirred up a monster with the bath. I got all of this loose fur flying everywhere and now there's little light brown fuzzies all over everything in the house. I took the slicker brush to her a little bit earlier. I'll probably do it again today. Right now I'm gonna try to take care of her Grinch feet. She can't be all nice and shiny from a bath and still have Grinch feet. She's usually pretty good cooperating with me about her Grinch feet so let's see. What I usually do is just throw everything on the carpet and do a really good vacuum job afterward because it takes, hold still, it takes way too much time to have a bag or something. Honey, you're going to cause me to cut your foot if you don't lay still. I really need you to be a good girl. And I don't want to poke you in the eye with the scissors either. So just try to be a good girl and let me trim these fringe feet up, okay? Honey, now this, this is not going to work. You being upside down is not going to cut it. Tying big girl up seems to do the trick usually because when she's tied up, she doesn't think she can move. I've got another video about that I'll link to where she thinks if she's tied up, she can't move. So this will work perfect. Now, I know you don't like me to trim your paws, but they are outrageous and you've just had a bath and we have to get your paws matching your pretty body.
pull all the hair up from between her toes and cut that off. Okay, well that paw is looking amazingly good. Now we just have to do the other one. But they're not that old. You got a little mat in here. Just take care of that while we're here. This is going to be a mistake. I can see before I ever start. Here, let me get this. Let me see. What has mommy done to that perfect little head? Maybe it ain't too bad. I hope. Lord, I'm covered in hair. As you can see, my carpet's covered in hair. It's very difficult to trim this kind of stuff. You know, for anybody that might just be tuning in here, stand up. But this stand up is a very weird place to be grooming a dog on the living room carpet of all places. But I do this all the time because it's just the most convenient. I don't have a grooming table, scoot. She just sat down in all of her hair and it's going to stick to her. That is the bad part about doing it in here. And now the part that you guys are probably most concerned with is how in the world I'm going to get this mess off of my carpet. Because I have made a really big mess here on the carpet. So this is how I take care of it. First thing I do is pick up the big pieces by hand. smaller pieces that I can't pick up by hand, I use my trusty Dyson here. This is not one of those fancy cordless Dysons that I see a lot of people use. This is just a regular Walmart Dyson that I got for $200 and it does a great job. <laughs> it guys misty come here misty misty is bathed and groomed she's Aww. definitely not the most well-groomed english shepherd that i have ever seen however she's clean she doesn't have any odors i got the mats out from behind her ears they feel perfect i got some mats out down here that i found while i was trimming i trimmed her big mop tail where it's not quite as outrageous right i trimmed her feet up when they don't look bad i don't even know if they're in the picture but her feet don't look bad. For the most part, she's had her spring bath, de shedding, and spring trim, and she came out of it looking pretty good, I think. Tell me if you enjoyed it. Missy, did you enjoy it?